I'm Gordon Bray, and this is the story of Lane Cove Rugby. Lane Cove Rugby Union has no equal anywhere. We win the competition with a hundred points to share. We even put an advance into Advance Australia Fair. And still we're marching on. I, 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 can, I can remember that the greatest, um, most interesting part about Lane Cove was the diverse people that played rugby there. It was my introduction to a whole new circle of friends who have become very firm, permanent friends and uh, exposure to something that I wouldn't have otherwise been exposed to. Play one day, train one night. It was an important part of growing up, definitely. The most important part of the club was the fact that no matter what you'd done in life, you were treated equal. When Reg was playing football, I just followed him with mum and dad and my grandma in the car. We all followed and seen how they played the game. It was my life. It was my life, and that's that. How long since I coached you in the under 12? You know, it's a bloody long while, isn't it? Yeah. And this 50, is only 53 years. Yeah, OK. So, <coughs> this is, uh, and I, I don't know whether it's a typical rugby club or not, but it's my co rugby club. Mm. I just want to let you know that we've got, uh, we've got 350 junior players registered this year to play for Lane Cove Rugby Club. By 1950, uh, Lane Cove entered the Burke Cup team, that was their first team. Uh, their first premiership occurred in uh, 1952 with an under-15 team. Bill Curry was captain, and Bill Curry remained captain from the 1952 era through to 1957. These, these... These boys were state champions, but they turned out next Saturday morning to coach the under 10s and under 12s. They were, uh, after their 60, at their 66, if that was the year, uh, the best team in the competition. Am I right? That means you played with Lane Cove before you were a Wallaby. Yeah, oh, where's the junior? Kenny Wright was my 5'8", and Mark Eller. I played with Mark Eller as well. Uh, I could throw the ball anywhere at Mark Eller and he'd pick it up. Um, and to see, to look across and see a Mel Meninga and a Laurie Dahlia and, and an Alan Langer next to me just gave me a huge boost in confidence. A lot thanks to uh, Lane Cove starting off here, the Field of Dreams town Concussion Oval. <laughs> and, uh, we had a fantastic time. And then you got somebody like Dave Lecky catching the ball. I mean, I could, I could throw the ball 10 feet away from him. Somehow he still catches it. He was a freak. He's the best hands I've ever seen on him. He was really good. Well, it's... it's... <laughs> uh, I, uh feel that that's uh, probably that praise is warranted. <laughs> <laughs> Sub-district, it's the largest rugby competition in Australia but it doesn't get much publicity. It's unique. It plays of all shapes, sizes and standards. You go along, you meet a lot of people and make a lot of friends and you go along for the sake of the game, not the money you might get later on or whatever might happen. Even if you don't believe us even if you don't believe us, even if you don't believe us, it's a jolly good story all the same. It's a jolly good story all the same.